Hitting at the ball is tragic for your golf swing because always we want to be getting through. It's a golf swing, not a golf hit. And people seem to forget that because not only mechanically swing wise, but it's also what we're focused on. We still have to send the stupid little ball that way. What I mean by that is our focus and intent is here. and We end up sort of, you know, stalling. We hit at the ball. Everything sort of stops. Our intent stops, our body stops. Even if you're a senior golfer or whatever, we still want to have our intent and flow. And our intent has to always be through. You might recognize this sort of swing where the body stalls, okay? The body stalls and the hands just end up sort of flipping through. And what happens is you get frustrated with that. So you try and sort of shove it a little bit more, all right? You end up trying to pull everything through. But I want you to start feeling that we're taking our time as we get towards the ball. The beauty of this drill and training is you can do it at home right now. I want you to even go and grab a golf club, hit pause and come back. I'll wait. Are you back? Okay, so you've got a golf club. You can grab a golf ball and a almost golf ball if you've got one, doesn't matter because you're not gonna break anything with this as long as you sort of hit it into something soft. It can be a kid if you want to. Now, even if you've got a bit of, let's say limited mobility and you kind of struggle to be able to get open, it doesn't really matter. What we're trying to do is find a little bit of structure and like a little bit of harmony, okay? Doesn't mean you have to fire the hips open really quick. Doesn't mean anything like that. We are just trying to feel a little bit connected with a fluid motion to get through to a full finish. This isn't about a hard rotation. This is just a feeling of getting the ball and gathering it and sweeping it through, okay? Just like so. And the main feel I want you to try and have here is the hands are going to move less and the body is gonna move a little bit more. So it's gonna almost feel like the club head is sort of dragging behind as you push this golf ball. So not only does it help us to get our focus away from hitting at, which is gonna sort of stop the over the top and fat shots and everything, it's gonna help our intent to get it over there. It's actually gonna help our mechanics. So as long as we wait, take our time as we enter the ball here, and then we push through with harmony, right? In balance, because we're not worried about all the backswing and hitting at it, okay? This is taking care of itself. And we're finding this impact position. How do we sort of turn on the power, if you will? It's not just pushing the hands, okay? Because that's not gonna work. It's not just firing the hips, because that's not gonna work. It's basically the core from here is going to push through. As you can see, the body is working together and I get to a almost a full finish, but the hands are pretty passive. I want you to just be wary that you're not sort of standing the shaft up a little bit too much as you enter impact here. I want you to feel almost like your thumbs are kind of pointing that way, just a hair, as you sort of turn the corner. That's gonna help keep the club face a little bit sort of squarer to your path a bit longer. So you're not trying to rush this movement through, okay? You can get better and you can develop more speed, but I do want you to monitor this, all right? Too many people, when they try this move, they'll end up trying to steer it towards the target, like straight towards the camera there, as if it's down the line. When always the swing is always an arc because the club is on an incline. If we were up here, that would be a bit different, but it's always on an incline. So we have to follow that circle and that arc, okay? But my knees are pretty close together, my thighs are touching, my belt buckle is towards the target, my core is towards the target, and my hands and arms are very soft and being guided. It's not a hard body, it's not a firing the hips, none of that nonsense, okay? It's just a smooth push. And those hockey players out there, you might sort of resonate with it full of, sort of feeling like down here, that way. If you're a senior golfer or someone that lacks a little bit of flexibility, just move this lead foot back a little bit. And we're still just going to try and 
push through. The more we can understand that it's a swing and through, the more effortless you're gonna feel. An effortless feeling golf swing is a bit of a misnomer, but we want it to have less effort to deliver the better results, okay? So we can still enjoy this game for a long time, but we still want to have the compression, the good shots, the good strikes, and those solid swings with a bit of structure. Then we build up to full swings with the same kind of effortless golf swing feel. It has patience, but it has power and connection where you want it. So there we have it, my friends. Try that, practice it at home, work on the push feel, and see the improvement in your consistency. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.